No, Nat Turner is the true Django, the true black slave ass kicker and the freer of slave. Or Jamie Foxx as Django was Nat Turner. So Birth of a Nation is a new 1800s period piece. Our main character is a slave, his name is Nat, and he goes through the hardships and sees the hardships of being a slave, who ends up starting an uprising and a rebellion with other black slaves because he feels like this is his calling from God. Now guys, I've heard about this movie since back in January, and when I first seen the trailer to this, I was ready to give out Oscars. I'll be honest, I, will, I was ready to give out Oscars to this movie. Now, after seeing this movie, I kind of... I kind of want to take that back. I, I really want to take that back now. Hey, the, the problem with this movie, uh, the, okay, there's a lot of issues with this. This is just a lot of issues with this movie. Like the beginning of this movie is really choppy, it's really sloppy, it's just really messy. I swear I checked my phone and 30 minutes in, you see Nat as a kid, you see Nat as an adult, you see this big event happen, you see this big event happen, and then you see Nat getting married. There's a lot of quick transitions and a lot of quick scenes. Like in my videos, there's a lot of jump cuts, but they're needed. But in this movie, there's the, the transitions are just really pointless. Like this one example, Nat is with this character and this character and Nat, their conversation ends. And then we see Nat with a saw, he's sawing something. And then the transition after that is night. Like, what is the point of the whole Saw transition? What was the point of that? That transition had nothing to do with the entire movie. It had nothing to do with, like, a subplot. It had nothing to do with Nat and the character. It had nothing to do with night. So why did we just see that transition? Guys, when you're watching this movie, you can just see it. You're like, this little transition doesn't need to be there. That little transition does not need to be there. And when you just start taking these out and you have them and you take them out of the movie, you take this two-hour and 20-something minute movie and you just shorten it down to about an hour and 55 minutes. This leads me to my next point. Don't go into this movie thinking you're going to see this slave that gets oppressed and then he starts this uprising and this rebellion and they're going to fuck shit up. Don't think you're going to go into seeing this fast paced and this really entertaining movie like that. Of the two hours and 20 minutes that this movie is, two hours of it is just the lead up and the slow burn and the 20 minutes of it is the actual rebellion. One of the hardest things I ever had to watch in a movie actually came from this movie. I'm still thinking about it. It's this part where the slave did not want to eat, and they had to force feed this slave the food. It, one of the most disturbing, one of the hardest things I have ever had to watch. It made me think about the scene in Schindler's List. The scene in Schindler's List when Ray Fiennes is on the, he's on the porch and he's shooting these people like they're nothing. It's, it's up there with that. It was a, a really tough scene to watch. I'm still thinking about it. Um, but with movies like this, I like them to be as real as possible, and that part really did it. The cinematography for this movie was great. You've seen it in that big swooping shot of the cotton field in the trailer. Nate Parker, he was great. He is the movie. He was tremendous in this movie. I don't think an Oscar nomination is coming for him. But he was tremendous in this movie. So far this year, Birth of a Nation is the most biggest disappointment for me. The biggest disappointment. I wanted to love this. I thought I would love this. But at the end of the day, I do not. It was hard for me to rate this. It was hard for me to grade this. But I would have to say that Birth of a Nation, it's a 68 out of 100. I got to give it a 68. First time directing for Nate Parker. Um, he did a great job raising the money for this. I think he said he shot it in 47 days or something like that. He was tremendous in this movie, but uh, this movie kind of falls short for me. I did go back and try to watch the, the 1915 Birth of a Nation that's three hours long and it's a silent film, which actually makes me feel like I'm reading for three hours. But um, one day I will eventually finish the, ne the, the last two hours of the movie. So guys, get a comment section. Let me know your thoughts if you have seen either one of the Birth of a Nation, the 1915 or Nate Parker's uh, Birth of a Nation. Like this video, share it, and make sure you check out all the other content I've, I have. Guys, until the next video, I'm out of here.